wavy. We just pulled into the spot. We didn't intend, we didn't even know this was here, but we saw it on the side of the road. It's an elk viewing area. It's BLM land. Yes. And it's got picnic tables. And a neighbor. And a neighbor. And we're exhausted, so we're just gonna crash here for the night. Oh, pistol girl wants out. All right, we'll see you guys in the morning. Morning, babe. Morning, sunshine. We didn't see any elk at the elk viewing area, but we both got a good workout in this morning. Dave went for a run on this public land. It was... I lost a few years of my life in my run. Yeah, you said it was pretty monotonous. It was a very boring run on this little dirt trail until I almost stepped on a grouse. Oh, that's why you lost a few years. <laughs> like literally a foot from my foot and it just exploded out of the brush and yeah, nearly died. Shocking. <laughs> <laughs> I used a picnic table in this area, did some yoga, lifted some weights, had a beautiful view. This is a highly windy area and today we are headed down the loneliest road in America. In America. It's Highway 50 on the north. We're coming in on the northeast side of Nevada. I've never been on it, but you have on a motorcycle before. Yeah. It it was pretty barren and remote, but you come to these small towns and get gas, and you drive around and come to a small town and get gas. The, the 180 miles we drove yesterday was by far the most remote, uninhabited, mm -hmm. low traffic I've ever seen in our travels. Very Death Valley-esque. Now, if you didn't see the last video, go back and check that out. We found those um, old mining kilns out in the middle of nowhere in Utah, but it it shows some of the landscape we went through yesterday and then we showed a little bit earlier in this video but yeah it was crazy desolate yeah and it was like it was weird because you're like you could see so far either direction on the highway because the highway goes down through these huge basins and go up a mountain and you'd stop in the middle like we stopped in film because there's like as far as you could see and there was no cars so just sit there and just wait like and then we wound up helping on a cattle drive. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> um, also, what was interesting is we would climb and then descend. Climb. We probably climbed uh -huh. and descended probably five or six different times between Utah and Nevada yesterday. 
Yeah. It was fun. I've never seen that part of the country before. Uh, I could check that off the list. Yeah, it doesn't matter where you go. I mean, it's some places are more scenic and beautiful than others, but I think that they, I like the uniqueness of every place we see. Yeah, I do too. I think it's all beautiful in its own way. If it were 10 <laughs> degrees cooler, I would have felt better about it, just in case we broke down or something weird, but. Yeah, it was close to 90 most of the day. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it was like driving through Death Valley all day. Yeah. But yeah. Even. So we're headed down the loneliest road in America we just, today. <laughs> we can't get enough of it. No. <laughs> but we're not going to cross the whole state on Highway 50. We're gonna we're gonna cross, and then we're gonna start working our way north of somewhere into Oregon. Yes, somewhere into <laughs> Oregon. Let's do it. All righty, you ready to go, Pistol? Apparently, she's ready to go. She's ready to go too. Here we go. Yay! was our home sweet home last night. It's Eureka, Nevada. Eureka. Welcome center. Yeah, so Dave is out exploring. I don't know if you can see. Can you see over there? There's two little mines. This whole area is just rich with mining. So there's a sign out there too that explains how this town got its name. And it's really hard to read, but Dave took a picture, so he's gonna tell you right now. Eureka. A miner is said to have exclaimed in September of 1864 when he discovered rich ore here, and thus the town was named. Eureka soon developed the first important lead-silver deposits in the nation, and during the furious boom of the 1880s, it had 16 smelters, over 100 saloons, and a population of 10,000. Okay, so the size of Newport, Oregon, with 100 saloons. <laughs> That's wild. And a railroad. So... Pretty interesting. That's really cool. Eureka. This is where Eureka came from. So they say. There's a Eureka, Montana that I used to go to quite a bit. There's a Eureka, California. Yeah, there is. Just a yeah. <laughs> and those are all, were all mining areas, were they not? <laughs> I know, well, I mean, not, you know there's mines in California. I don't know about that particular area, but. Someone out there knows. I like the story anyway. Yeah, it happened here. Mm, we didn't really film last night. I worked on a video. We had spotty service, but it was enough to work on it. Now I haven't uploaded it yet, so we're going to have to hunt down some better internet service today. But That'll be a challenge because this will be day three of pretty remote areas, and it's going to get really remote as we get north central Nevada. Yeah, but we'll be through that today, I think. Yeah, we'll probably go through Winnemucca or maybe stay near Winnemucca today. Yeah. I like saying Winnemucca. I do too. <laughs> Winnemucca. Winnemucca. They'll have service in Winnemucca. Mm -hmm. so, I right. think they will. Do you have the keys? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's early yet and it got cold last night. Let me tell you what happened. I woke up at 5. I was like, why am I so cold? We forgot to turn the heater on. It got down to 28 last night. Not in the van though. We were 53. Which is amazing, and we always set our uh, heater for 63, so it's 10 degrees cooler than it normally is in here, but wow, this thing maintains the heat. We didn't have anything insulated up here either. We just had it wide open, so it says a lot. Winnemucca? Winnemucca. Pistol, my sentiments exactly. <laughs> Winnemucca.
You guys. First of all, we saw a coyote. That was fantastic. Uh, but then, we're pulling into this campground. This is a free campground outside of Winnemucca. It's actually Winnemucca, just a couple miles out of town. Winnemucca. Uh, Nevada still. But... It's like a sci-fi movie outside. There's these crazy crickets, and I saw the reviews on iOverlander. They're called Mormon crickets or black crickets, something like that. And, um, well, we just have to show you. 